Of course, you don't have to concentrate just on small details when you're sketching. In fact, constables sketch complete scenes to use for larger paintings later. For example, this one of Flatford Mill. And this sketch of the mill at Dedham. I've also decided to do a small quick sketch of Dedham Lock and the Mill to help me with composition back in the studio. And I'm sitting almost where Constable would have sat to do his pencil sketch. People come to the mill and expect the scene to be just the same as in Constable's days, but of course it isn't. Everything changes. And in fact, during Constable's lifetime, even the railway started and that would have changed the countryside forever. Now, normally I would, I would do this type of sketch larger than this. I, I usually like to work A4 size, but all I want to do, I want to do this simply because Constable did this size. I just want to have a go. It's, it's nice seeing what happens. Uh, the object is to get chimney up there. The object is to get a, an overall view of the scene and just get into the mood of the place. And whenever you draw anything, we've got a window, there's another one just sort of coming in there. Whenever you draw anything, no matter how simple, no matter how small, you are learning and you're observing everything so consequently you're getting to know what you're drawing and by doing that you're capable of working later at home in the studio from it obviously today in our days we have got a camera as well this will help uh, because it gives you more information that you can work from but don't put a lot of detail in remember detail would come by drawing and working for detail and you do that by taking certain areas as a something there I don't know what it is it's like a like a sign a round sign and then we've this fence running across there Now, those nice big trees coming in there, they're lovely. They're, they'll give a nice presence to the foreground and also help to push all this back. In fact, where these lock gates are, I was here only three days ago and they, they were absolutely clear. There was no leaves coming over them, but in only three days, these leaves have blossomed and come out and starting to cover up the gate. But I, I shall leave, I shall leave that bear because obviously it's important to know where that gate is they're lovely just let the paint I'm, I'm working on the broad edge of the pencil there just let that come in there's a nice lot of dark area under there where we've got to, oh did you hear that some more hen in fact I'm going to draw one of those if it would come around. I've been waiting to see one and of course it hasn't arrived yet where I can see it. They're all in the in the water around me. Oh, just a little reflection down there just to show that we've got water and there's a little bush up here. I must just darken that roof because it's in shadow and in fact it's quite strong that shadow. <coughs> It's much darker than the trees behind. A little bit of shadow coming on the wall again here and now we'll get, just suggest a little bit of reflection. There isn't much reflection there at the moment. Oh, there's a few more hens and ducks flying around over here, scooting across the water. But there isn't much reflection simply because there's a lot of ripple and wind movement on it. And I think that's it. That's, that's just about got it all in. Enough for me to be able to 
have the feeling and work from that at home. And to see how much the scene has changed, let's compare Constable's painting of the mill as it was with how it is today. Well, you wouldn't know it's the same place. And here's my sketch of it, and I'm sure the view will have changed again in another 200 years. <laughs>